All right, and here is the video review for Iron Factory's Burning Slug, their version of Warpath. He's actually really cool. He showed up a little unexpectedly. I wasn't sure what was on the way. I did get a DHL notice something was coming. I'm like, oh, cool, something's coming, and I'd forgotten that he was so close to release. Then he showed up today, and uh, it is pretty cool. He is in his little tank mode. He is a little bit uh, angled inward on the back. But a solid looking tank, he does have a rotating turret. Um, you can get a little bit more rotation if you lift it up a little bit. There's a hinge there, that's part of the transformation. But uh, a cool solid looking beefy tank. Uh, well, as beefy as an Iron Factory toy at this scale can be. Uh, because he is, as you can tell probably in relation to my hands, on a much smaller scale. He's in their, their same kind of Legends class scale as a lot of the figures we've been getting from them lately. Their combiners and things like that. Yeah, very unmistakable as Warpath. He's that kind of reddish maroon tank, and he's pretty cool. Not a, Again, aside from the turret, not a whole lot going on here in vehicle mode. All of his weapons store, which is pretty cool, and uh, just a fun little dude. Got some treads there, a little H-tank. To transform him, it's very simple. We're just going to pop these pieces apart here in the back and pop these gray pieces out. These can separate. These are going to end up... There's a lot of different ways you can use them. If you don't want them plugged in, you could plug them in up here on the back of the tank. Give this turret a little bit more beef. Uh, it makes the back end a little less stable, but uh, most things lock into place pretty well. He's not going to fall apart if you want to have those on his turret here. We'll go ahead and take these off and set them to the side for the time being. Also up here, we're going to split these treads from away from this maroon or darker maroon piece here in the middle. Uh, get these little tabs out and then pull this whole assembly off before we fold it up come uh, open it up like this and push this uh handle through it's going to save you some headaches trying to pry it out later so take this and then fold this up like a clamshell and then take these two side pieces and fold them down you see now i've got like a little chunk of a piece here come back here to the back of the turret pop this darker piece off you can see where this is going. There is a tab. Plug it together. And now you've got his little rifle. Pretty cool. So we'll put that off to the side for the time being as well. And on to the main tank mode. So lift these maroon panels here up. That's going to unlock the top part of this. And then pull this piece out. There's, you can see there's a dual hinge here. Untab this piece from the dark maroon piece from the lighter uh, maroon piece here. Lift that up. Rotate this around and then fold this flat. There's a slot here on the front part that this is going to tab into. So you just straighten it out flat like that. You can see it's kind of L-shaped Tetris piece here, and then it's flat on the front. So lift that up, rotate it around, tab it down. And now you've essentially unlocked his whole body. Go ahead and lift this turret up a little bit, get that out of the way. And then take these pieces, pull them out on these hinges right here. Rotate them around at the swivel. And we'll deal with them in a minute. Come down here, take this middle maroon piece here, flip it up, tab it on right there. Lift this piece up like that. You can see the ball joint in here, lower it down, and then rotate it. So uh, rotate it so this silver triangle is in the middle, and then rotate it again down here so it looks like that. So this maroon piece is back on the outside, but this little silver triangle piece is now at the front of the thigh. You can do that in any order. If you'd rather rotate it around like this first, then rotate it around, then fold it down, whatever's easiest for you. But just make sure the silver triangles are on the front and that the hinge works so that his uh, knee works. Come up here, lift these front panels up. Rotate this whole tread down to form his foot. And then the back part of the tread flips up and into the, uh, the back of the heel piece there. And that's his legs done. So we'll take this whole turret piece, slide it back into place here on top of the body. Uh, this piece can fold down here to form his kind of butt plate. Fold that down and then these hinges that the arms are on, there's a tab here that's gonna tab into the slot on the side. So lift that up, that'll lock this into place. So now the torso is set, rotate the arm around up like that. Pull the, uh, this tread down and around, fold it up, use this tab to flip out his little fist, 
and then close this back up with the tread folded up. Exactly the same on this side. Bring this down, fold the tread up, pop out the fist, close it up, and we're almost done here. Lift up this panel, or actually take this whole back assembly with this darker maroon panel and kind of flip it down here. Uh, you can see that exposes his head. You can get your finger on that notch, flip his, uh, flip his head up. This panel right here can then close behind the head like that. And then the turret cannon just collapses onto his chest like that. And there he is in robot mode. These pieces right here plug on here, the same place they would have pegged into the turret. And then you can kind of angle this piece up uh, so you can have these kind of launchers angled over his shoulders, or you can just leave them flat on his back if you wish. And of course, he's got his little rifle that he can hold in either hand using the peg. And that's a cool looking little warpath. He's got a nice little head sculpt on a ball joint. Like I said, he can actually, better than some of the uh, Power of the Primes deluxes we've been reviewing, uh, he can look up and down and around. He's got ball joints at the shoulders as well as that extra little hinge there. Uh, there we go. Uh, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, no wrist swivel. I don't know, no wrist swivel. He does have waist swivel, ball joint hips, thigh swivel, hinge knees. Now he's a little limited due to, uh, you can get a good 90 degree bit out of the thing. And then his feet have some front and back and they actually have some ankle tilt. So pretty decently poseable for such a tiny little dude. Um, he's, a, he's a fun little warpath. Um, the colors, I think, are spot on. He's chunky. He look, He's a cool tank. And he's just a beefy little minifigure. I really dig him. Like I said, it's another solid little figure from Iron Factory. For a quick comparison with some other Iron Factory figures, here he is with Smokescreen. I wanted to get a car. I thought about bringing in the Lambo Brothers, but I'm like, I haven't, I haven't had Smokescreen on camera in a while. So there's Smokescreen. Uh, here he is with Starscreen. So a little bigger in proportion that he is generally portrayed and here he is with uh cygnus there skyfire slash jetfire who is really just bled out due to the lighting there you go bring it up a little bit there so yeah good solid fun figure another i think another win I'm trying to think of it if there's been something that just really hasn't been great from Iron Factory lately. Um, I know that there are a couple of minor issues with their Bruticus, but uh, mine ended up being pretty solid. The Bruticus is great. I'm really looking forward to their uh, DJD combiner. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Are they, is that next for them? What else do they have coming? I feel like there's an... Oh, they've got the, 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 the uh, Nemesis Prime. Is it Nemesis Prime? Nova Prime. Uh, we've seen pictures of so that's probably on the way as well i really just, just anything iron factory is putting out i'm really interested in seeing what's coming down the pipeline i know we've got the djd combiner which i am super stoked about if it's anywhere near as good as their bruticus but there it is iron factory's burning slug